Do you see that? That's why he's made of stone. He's a one-man wrecking crew. Hey. Simple as that. You took the greedy souls in tag team competition. We excel. You stick the greedy souls in singles competition. We excel. It doesn't matter who you stick in our way. It could be Sunshine Machine. It could be Robbie X. One thing is for certain. The greedy souls. It's business, you know. A fighting champion that agrees to non-title fights is no fighting champion. You, Robbie, are a joke. If you want to prove me different, Tramshed Cardiff next week. Bring yourself and your Cruiserweight Championship. What are you saying? Legion, you didn't great, I don't know why you've chosen me. I feel too you know last month. Robbie, I know this is petty. I thought we were at least on good terms as we were about similar attitudes, but somehow I can't always become more fan favorites have really got to you. Oh yeah, they don't like that bro. And it's, oh, they don't like it's that. awful. Sure you celebrate that in Japan, part of the empire, but you ain't celebrating here, not like us. And for you to steal a win like that shows exactly that you have no moral fiber. So next time we get the chance, be that 229, be that Cardiff, be that York or wherever, we are taking you down and we are taking that cane off you once and for all. Let the new horror begin. Bro, it hurts so much man, oh my god. Oh, I'm just waiting a bit. Uh, uh, you good? I'm oh, good. Yeah? Yeah, man. Ooh, you good. Look at that. Big, strong, Lucian Phillips. Hey? Yeah? Big, loud Lucian Phillips. Hey, did you hear those people today? Hey, trying to cheer for the Legion. Hey, you don't think that we've given you opportunity? I don't need you. Don't need you. Yeah, opportunity after opportunity you've been given to cheer us. Yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong. I get it. I get it. Since someone was revealed as the orchestrator of the United Empire, how there are British fans that want to cheer us. I understand it, I do. <laughs> We're the Legion, baby. We're the Legion. Yeah? That means we don't give a crap what you think. We don't give a crap who you cheer. We don't give a single solitary toss about any of you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the money. All that matters at the end of the day is that the Legion are once again running Rev Pro. <laughs> Tag, right? Yeah, yeah. Tag. Ooh, tasty. Southampton. It couldn't be sweeter here in my hometown to get that win tonight in front of my people. I've been waiting for that for a very long time. But it wasn't easy. You know, since Will Caven burst on the scene here in Red Pro, everyone's been saying how he's this, this new threat. A disruptor is the word I keep hearing. Uh, unknown entity, but not for me. I've been training with Will for years. We've been putting in the hours at the Portsmouth School of Wrestling for years, for moments like these, so he's no new threat to me. I know Will Caven better than anyone else on this roster. And that came into play tonight. That's to take nothing away from him. He's a dangerous, dangerous man. He fights like a rabid dog, but let me tell you, Will Caven, every dog has his day. <laughs> and it's finally my day. I've been saying since the start of the year that 2023 is my year. That's not a catchphrase, that's not a gimmick, that's what I truly believe. And tonight, that was step one. I held my own with Gabe Kid. I wish Callum the best and focused all my energies on singles competition, and that's paid off tonight. So watch this space. I am the heart and soul of Revolution Pro. In 2023, it's my year. Ah! I hate Southampton! I hate Southampton! You know what I hate even more? Mm. Hometown boy, JJ Girl! Mm. You know? Mm. Sorry, my jaw's a bit stiff. My throat's a little bit bummed up, you know. Give me a minute. Forgive me if I slur my words. But you know, I ended 2022 not such a great note. Couldn't quite get my Cruiserweight Championship back into my own hands. That's fine. Whatever. 
we move past, we train, we train hard all through January and February. I train hard. So I know that comeback at the start of 2023 is going to be so sweet for Will Cape and I know it. <laughs> but it's not quite off to the start by one. It's okay. It's okay, we dust ourselves off. We move forward, never backwards, we move forward into the rest of 2023. I'm gonna show every single person on the Ref Pro roster that you are witnessing the beginning of the Will Caven era. I didn't get a win in Southampton tonight. This should have been the night I finally pinned down Maloney and shut his gob up for good. But I tell you what, for as much of an evil bastard you can be, Dan Maloney, any day of the week, I would have these welts on my chest from you. Because you are one of the best wrestlers in this country. And it's a shame you've got to go out of your way to cheat, pull things down, like smash me on fucking hand off that and bring me that way. So I'll tell you what, go and do whatever you've got to do in this company. And when you're a bigger man, face me down the line and we'll deal with this properly. A win's a win, right, Luke? I think that's what you must have been telling yourself these past few months, from Sheffield, from your call, roll up victories, they seem to be the new in thing in Northwest Strong. So how about tasty Roman medicine? You kick and scream, I heard you crying, he didn't beat me properly, with a roll up, with a f yes, with a roll up, because that's what I do, I roll f up and I burn it down, bruv. No matter what f direction the compass is pointing, Luke, your days were numbered, and if you want to, Convince yourself that was a fluke. I'm still gonna be around, baby. So if you ever got a little itch in your neck that you want me to f sort out for you, I'm not hard to find, Luke. You know this. I feel like what I'm supposed to do um, to, is to promote the future, talk about the future. In terms of future repro events, I should probably talk about the rep repro rumble. Talk about Zack Sabre Jr. And that's on my mind, yes, now, because this match that I just participated in is out of the way. I've been thinking about this one for a very long time. Cameron Kai. Cameron Kai. I went to a uh, Portsmouth training session, and if I've got my, I don't know if I've mixed my events co incorrectly, but I went to a Portsmouth session, his first session, where he was just learning how to do roles in the ring, how to move about the ring. And here he is, that was late 2021, at the very end of 2021. A few months later, he had his wrestling debut in Portsmouth Guild Hall. And a year after that, here he is in Southampton, many matches under his belt. A matured professional wrestler for someone who is, I think, 17? It's ridiculous. It tells me a lot about the future of Revolution Pro Wrestling, the future of wrestling in this country and the world. Because you can't just say this country. A kid like Cameron Kai, if he sticks with it, if he keeps his head down, he will go around. The world. It was in Southampton, February 2019, that I walked out to the contenders theme. I wasn't even a contender, but I had no music, so they gave me the contenders music. And I wrestled TK Cooper. I was an unknown to those people that I won them over that night. And I don't know, you, you tell, you ask the Southampton fans, because I think Cameron Pat won them over. As for me, fine. I'll think about Zack Sabre Jr. now. Think about the guy that arguably should be doing the things that I'm doing right now. Somehow in six years in, I'm the vet that is parting my knowledge, that has given back to the younger guys when he is Kushti in Japan, dyeing his hair, getting members of Retribution to be part of his stable. I'm gonna keep going, I don't care how wrong this freaking thing is. Zack Sabre Jr., this isn't supposed to be personal, but you piss me off. And come your call on the 26th of March, you are going to realize that you are stepping in to my house. Now we play. About a year and a half ago, you know, the very first time that I ever stepped foot in a ring, the very first time that I stepped foot into the Portsmouth School of Wrestling, the person that was there who was helping me was Michael Oku. He taught me how to bump, he taught me how to run the ropes, and ever since then, He's been helping me until now, so I'd be lying here if I stood in front of you and, and said that it wasn't somewhat surreal to be wrestling him today and to be standing across the ring from him. But I'd also be lying if I said that I'm not incredibly upset right now and angry that I lost the match. Because 
to me, it doesn't matter who I'm in the ring with. It doesn't matter whether they're one of the best in the world. It doesn't matter who it is. My only goal when I'm in that ring is to win the matches. And I didn't do that today. So now, I guess it's back to the drawing board. Time to train harder, work harder, fight harder until I start winning. Oi, come on! I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. Another L on the record for the young age in charge. I need to switch up, man. I need to switch up. And trust me, I will. Trust me, I will. Because I got big things coming this year. And I won't let myself down. And I won't let you down. I promise I'll be the best in the world. <sighs> Oh, one month ago, Will Osprey put on an open challenge to any man in British wrestling who thought they could step up to the plate. And I, I took a chance on myself. I put out a video and somehow enough of the fans made enough noise that Will Osprey himself saw it. Three days later, the match was booked. Oh. People wondered who I was. People wondered if I was up to the task to step in there with the kingpin, with the billy goat, with the best wrestler on the planet. And I came here and I showed everyone in Rev Pro and everyone in British wrestling that I belong in that ring with the very best of them. Now, I might not have got the win tonight, but I'm gonna go home and hold my head high, knowing that I just went toe to toe with the best goddamn wrestler in the world. What's next for El Capitan, Leighton Buzzard? I'll tell you what's next. And that's me being back here and back in a Revolution Pro wrestling ring. And that's a promise. Do you really, really think, Billy, that getting under my skin is a good idea? Do you really want to be under my skin? Where I hide all this rage, everything you want to bring up and fuck fun at me. Oh, you were depressed, you were down, you were heartbroken, you'd just been fired, you were having trouble at home. Bang on the money. And you know where I've kept all of that for four years under my skin? In this mind, somewhere that you think you're going to walk in and treat like a playground. I remember four years ago, I remember turning up to that building with all going for me, nothing going for me. Just that last crumb of pride that I couldn't let go of. That was then, that was at my lowest. You can ask me if I remember, yes I remember, you, you won. You've been the best in the world for the past four years, yes you won. The best in the world, walked into my hometown and been a downtrodden, unmotivated, Nobody, that's exactly what you did, and I hope you're proud of yourself. But one year's a long time, four years is even longer, and I dare you to look me in the eye and tell me you're looking at the same man you were looking at in that ring then. I'm not sure this is a game you want to play, Billy. You're far too high on the mountain, far too easy to tip. There's not so many branches when you're that high up the tree, so when I embarrass you, the whole world's going to see it. If you want to get under my skin, if you want to take a walk around there, we can go. But you're not coming out the same man or the same goat or whatever thing you want to put on a t-shirt this month. You are a dead man who's just made the biggest mistake of his whole career.